Bill's gonna take this screen down right here because this top part was at the bottom where a rat chewed through there to get into the sunroom. So he's gonna take that down and uh, put a new screen on it. Uh, the rats and mice are so determined to get in there. So he's gonna fix that today. I'm gonna redo these screens a little bit at a time on the sunroom because it had uh, that old black fiber screen on it. That's what come on it with the windows when I put them in. But uh, our neighborhood rat figured out he could chew his way through the screens when we have the windows open during the day when it gets real hot. So I'm going to put metal screen on it. Just, just uh, see how he likes chewing on that. <laughs> how you like that, rat? Yeah, <laughs> okay. But, uh, I think we've got them completely shut off because we tested it last night and <clears throat> no evidence of them coming in. Uh, we've had all the windows shut, so that's what we'll do is start putting metal screen on it. And, uh, nowadays, a lot of these uh, screens like this, when you buy a, a complete window, it comes with a fiberglass screen. and uh, It's okay other than that. Uh, rats can shoot through it. No more mouse allowed in the sunroom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this was a tray of moringa seeds, and a rat or mouse got up here and ate my plants up. I can replant them, but I'm gonna have to put them up higher just to make sure. They're not back in here. Poor Blue, he's blocked out. Bill's fixing that up. And then he's gonna make a shelf over there for me, for plants. I know, it's sad. They caught the rat that was in the... That's that one. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he caught it. She tried to. She was looking a different direction. Yay! The rat is gone. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we mouse proofed it, but we locked one in. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't locked no more. Hey. Go ahead and finish it, Bill. That's sunny, haven't it? Oh, I'm so glad about that. Pack rat from out in the desert. And they're real super smart. They bury, they go around and collect coyote poop or dog poop if it's available, but it's mostly coyote poop. And they line the opening with that. And thorns. And thorns. And uh, it's just like a dog going and marking their territory to keep others out. Those rats, they, they figured that out over, you know, thousands of years, I guess. But they, they line their burrows with that dog poop. Yep. But they also, uh, they'll steal stuff too. They're like a crow. They like shiny stuff. Yep. Uh, we found stuff in their, in their rest, rest yep. nest. Before. That one loved my uh, sunroom. What? <laughs> he loved my sunroom. Yeah. He says, well, they're bringing food in. Now I'm all set. But he, they got he, it. He burrowed underneath that black tank. And it was safe there. We kept finding these scattered around in here every day. And Bell kept sniffing around. I, I didn't think I could move that tank because it is full of water. It's 40 gallons of water, but I could tip it up where she could reach on there and she grabbed it. Yeah. And uh, then it ran all over the place. They was chasing it. Finally, Sonny got it and took it outside. And, uh, then, but he don't know to finish them real quick. Yeah. Uh, but he grabbed it. But he did grab it and get it outside. It was. Yeah. He did it. It was fighting back. Okay, Bill just had it. Uh, now we just done eat there and there's the nest, but don't have no babies in it. Okay. So, he was, had a nice fine nest. I don't know what this material is. And I don't know of any green that we have around here. So, that's interesting. I don't know what it is made from. Well, Bill made this for me, a stand, and 
uh, I put more plants over here. We figured we had a rat there. They was always telling us, there's a rat there, Daddy. So, we finally got it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think I could have this for seedlings. Uh, and grow food through the winter. As long as we don't get any more critters in here. My son, he found him a place to lay. Oh, well, you can lay down there, too. <laughs> well, I got everything in I wanted. Looking good. Got stuff on that shelf. And then I got all them bottles and plants over there that will go out to the food forest if they all make. Uh, this is my water station when I plant something. And this is some china berry trees I found. Uh, if they make it through the shock of moving them, I'm going to let them grow in the greenhouse or the sunroom this winter. So, I'm really happy about getting my plants back in here. It feels good. I do love having them in here. This is a very nice place to, uh, in the cold winter day, come out. Now, did we plant my moringa seeds in there? There's a baby just popped up. So I got other things planted, and uh, I'm really happy about it. And some of my peppers are blooming. I think they they like this hot air. I made a bunch more of cuttings from my pomegranate and peach trees over there. I put them in the containers today, my little greenhouses. And I've uh, been planting a lot of seed. So we just have to wait, see what takes and grows up. Oh, Peanut, are you hot? Are you been working too Mom, hard? I'm hot. I'm working too hard, Mom. Can I take a nap? Can I go in the house? <laughs> You're always work as such a hard worker. My, look how sleepy you are. He just works too hard. But anyway, I'm glad to see the peppers are blooming in here. Uh, things are looking good. Uh, the best time to be in here this winter when it's sunny and it's really cold outside and it's like a sauna in here. It just feels so good. So, thanks for watching. Me and Peanut. <laughs> From Out West Homestead. Bye.